so watch me do a step by step soft glam look for my beautiful client if this is what you would like to see keep on watching so please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe so first thing first i'm going to be using my blossom micellar water and my cutting pad to clean up the face in order to remove dirt and oil on the face then i went ahead to hydrate her skin with my keys beauty spray after hydrating it, I used my fan to dry it up immediately before moisturizing. I'm going to be moisturizing with my Cetaphil moisturizer. So I'm just going to apply it all over the face. Make sure you moisturize the face properly into the skin. So after moisturizing, I'm going to be drying it up with my fan. Make sure every product you apply during skin prep dries up before moving on to the next product so after that i'm going to be priming her face with this primer from keys beauty i'm just gonna apply it all over the face avoiding the areas underneath the eyes so after applying the primer i went ahead to dry it up again so next i applied this same essential mattifying primer on the face because i really want the makeup to last for a very long time after which i let it dry into the skin so moving on to foundation i'm going to be mixing these two shades of foundation i'm just gonna use my flat brush to apply it then use my spray to spray for easy blending after that i used my damp beauty sponge to blend the foundation into the skin so when it comes to foundation application sometimes you can you might not get the exact shade of the person's color all you need to do is to mix it with another shade to get her perfect shade and always make sure your beauty sponge is soft and damp if it's not soft and damp you won't be able to blend in the foundation properly so after blending in the foundation the next thing i did was to lock it up with my keys beauty spray this would help the foundation not to move or go anywhere after that i'm going to let it dry before moving on to contour for cream contour i'm going to be using this flawless ivy concealer to contour her face so whenever you want to contour the face it's best to use a shade that is two to three shades sometimes four shades to contour the face so what does contour do contour just helps to make the face appear slimmer So moving on to cream blush, I'm going to be mixing these two orange shades from my Blossom lip palette and apply it above her cheekbone and a little bit on the tip of her nose. Then I went ahead to blend it using my beauty sponge. So this is what it looks like when you use your cream blush on the face. After that, I'm going to be highlighting her face with this Milani concealer in the shade 147 to highlight her face so while highlighting it's best to use a shade a concealer shade that is two to three shade lighter than the skin after highlighting i'm going to be blending the concealer on the highlighted area So next, I'm going to be contouring her nose with the same shade I used to contour her face. So I'm just using my flat brush to apply it first before blending it with my beauty sponge to avoid harsh lines. So after blending it, next is to set the concealer. But before setting, I'm going to be using my beauty sponge to blend the areas underneath the eyes to avoid creasing. So to set the concealer, I'm going to be using my Mirac setting powder in the shade Ginger to set. So while setting, you need to be light-handed, take it one step at a time. That's and make sure the person's eyes the are properly into the skin. So after setting the concealer, next is to set the rest of the face. I'm going to be using this Milani Compact Powder in the shade Light. 
to set the rest of the face so while setting the rest of the face it's best to use the exact skin shade of your model or your bride or your client to set the rest of her face do not use a shade lighter or darker After that, I'm going to be doing low light contouring, which is dry contouring. So I'm just going to use this shade here for my Bicham powder palette to set the cream contour I applied earlier. So next, I'm going to be applying this light shade from the same powder palette on the places I highlighted. So next, I'm going to be contouring her nose with this same shade I used to contour the face. So for blush, I'm going to be using this orange shade from Hega and Esther and apply it above her cheekbone and a little bit on the tip of her nose. After which I used my powder brush to blend everything together. So after blending, I'm going to be setting the face. This would help the product to sit properly into the skin and reduce the powder effect. So after setting, I'm going to let it dry before moving on to baking. I'm going to be using the same setting powder I used to set her face to bake her face. So moving on to the brows, I'm going to be using my spoolie brush to brush her brows first and I went ahead using brow tamer to lay the brows nicely. So next is to outline her brows, I'm going to be using my carrot gel liner and my angled brush to draw her brows following the shape of her brows. So next is to highlight her brows, I'm going to be using the same concealer I used to highlight the face to highlight the brows. After that, I blended the concealer. After blending the concealer, I did the other brows following the same method. So to highlight the top of her brows, I used the same foundation I used on her face to highlight the top of her brows. So I don't like using the same concealer I used underneath her eyes to highlight the top of her brows. It will look too light. That's why I prefer to use the same foundation I use on the face to highlight the top of the brows. So to set the concealer, I'm going to be using this light shade from the same powder palette to set the concealer. Then I added this shade on her brow bone. So next I'm going to be applying some setting powder on the outer corner of her lid. After that moving on to the eyes I'm going to be using my Vianch eyeshadow base to prime her lid. So after applying the eyeshadow base, I'm going to be blending it very well. After blending it, moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this same orange color from my Hega and Esther as her transition color. So I'm just starting by applying it on the outer corner of her lid, then blend it towards the inner corner of her lid. So next, I'm going to be using this my Kylie eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna take this shade here, 
and apply it on the outer corner then blend it towards the inner corner and after that i mixed it with this darker brown from the same eyeshadow palette So after that i used that same brush i used in applying the transition color i went back using that brush to blend to avoid any demarcation so next i'm going to be doing the other eyes following the same method So next I'm going to be applying this shade from the same powder palette to blend the inner corner of her lid. So I went back applying more setting powder on the outer corner of her lid to define the lid. Then after that I went back to blend with my eyeshadow blending brush. One thing about eyeshadow application is how you apply and how you blend. So next, I'm going to be applying this golden pigmented eyeshadow from my Kali Cheek eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to apply it on the inner corner of her lid. So after that, I went back applying this dark brown eyeshadow. So next, I added a little bit of this pigment from MK. This pigment has the same color with the eyeshadow that I used. So I just added a little just to make the eye look to pop. After that, I'm going to be lining her upper lash line with my carrot gel liner and my angled brush. Next, I'm going to be prepping her natural lashes with my Zara mascara to give it volume. For her lower lash line, I'm going to be using this pencil to line her lower lash line. After that, I wore her these lashes from Chi Lashes. So I went back lining her upper lash line again because I wanted it to pop. So next, I'm going to apply this bronze shade underneath her lower lash line. So moving on to the lip, I'm going to be using this lip pencil to outline her lip. After that, I'm going to be applying this Nibam Beauty lip stain in the middle just to brighten up the lip. So my client wanted me to add a little bit of this orange color in the middle because she wanted a little bit of orange shade on her lip. So after that I added some lip gloss. So I went back to apply blush on her cheekbone. So she asked me to add another nude again in the middle, which I did because she was like she wanted it to be mild. So I added a little nude, then blended it together. After that, I used my contour brush to dust off the excess powder on her face. Then I went back applying the contour shade I used to contour her face. I went back using it on her face so that everything would be well pronounced. I did the same thing on the nose. So I'm going to be dusting off the excess powder on her face using this light shade from my powder palette.
After that, I used my powder brush to blend everything together. So next, I'm going to be setting the face with my Keys Beauty Spray. After setting, I'm going to dry it off. Make sure it dries properly into the skin. So after drying, I'm going to be applying this Mavers Glow Highlighter on the places I highlighted. This will like help the face to glow. So after that, I always like to blend everything again to avoid it looking too much on the face. So next, I'm going to be using my Zara mascara on her lower lashes. So my client is already looking beautiful so i added this newborn beauty highlighter a little because this highlighter is lighter so i want it to like pop very very well just i just applied it a little so if you want your face to be glowing so well i'm going to be using my mismetic cheek glaze and apply it on the places i highlighted like this would help the face to be glowing like glowing glowing So after that, I'm going to be setting the face for the last time with my Keys Beauty Fix Spray. Make sure you set properly. After setting, you want to let it dry, like dry very well. After drying, I'm going to be sealing it up with my So Proceed Spray. Like this would help the makeup to last. So after sealing it up, we want to let it absorb into the skin. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please support your gear, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.